Hi guys, this is Misfits, um, and this morning I'm in the kids' bathroom. So if you remember from my first YouTube video that I ever made where I gave a tour of our Alaskan home, um, I hate this bathroom, like with a passion. It's, I don't know what they were thinking when they did this bathroom. Um, there's like holes all in the wall. Um, the tub is really stained from the rust in the water. Um, the tile job is really terrible in the shower. And there's this, and then the, the top of the sink has tile on it. Um, it's just, it's a disaster in here and the floor is terrible. It's just a really big mess and it really drives me crazy and stresses me out. Well, a couple weeks ago, Tommy, like, they were cleaning the, the bathroom the kids were and um, Tommy fell and damaged the tile a little bit in the shower and so I thought okay well once I get my garden in and get cleaned up from spring and everything like that we really need to work on making a plan to remodel the bathroom so um, then last night when he was taking a shower he fell again and really damaged the tile in the shower so like it's a it's not a get to it later kind of thing anymore it's like we need to fix it right now my best friend's coming next month to visit us and we really need to get this bathroom done so I brought in the um, garden cart and I'm gonna start ripping the tile out and the the drywall because that's another thing whoever did this bathroom tiled over drywall for the shower which is a terrible idea I literally have no idea what I'm doing um, but I do know how to drywall. I do know how to um, figure things out. So I'm going to start um, taking out the flooring. I'm going to start taking out the tile and the drywall that's in the shower um, and start, you know, using the garden cart as like a dumpster. And then that way we can just take everything straight out and dump it. Um, into the truck so we can take it to the dumpster. So that's what I'm working on this morning is demol or the demo part of the bathroom reconstruction and or renovation and then um, maybe tomorrow evening before church or um, this weekend we can get over to Lowe's and start picking out some tiles, some paint, some flooring um, and get this bathroom done.
I pulled all the tile out and the sub wall and then there was like plastic that covered this insulation here and I pulled it all out and the kids took all the tile to the garage and stacked it um, on a shelf because while I don't want to use it for doing the shower it is useful for like um, repurpose projects and stuff and little crafts so I'm gonna hold on to the tile it might come in handy later um, we also have this um, I don't know if you can see this kind of like tongue and groove stuff that the previous people put on the wall and I'm taking all that out and we're gonna save that too I feel like that'll come in handy somewhere else um, so for now um, I was gonna scrub the rust stains out of the the, the tub but I'm going to let that be for now and then the next thing I'm going to do is start pulling up the flooring and finish taking off that tongue and groove um, paneling off the wall. Oh, what I was going to say too is um, I was really worried when I, was, when I went to pull out all the stuff, all the tile out of the shower that I would find like I would run into like a lot of problems with the shower and stuff or the, like the studs and stuff behind the the wall but surprisingly it was very minimal damage the like there were there were screws and stuff in here that had rusted and all I had to do was hit them with a hammer and they broke off um, so there's obviously been some water issue in there but it didn't cause any problem with the studs the studs are solid there's no rotting and the only water um, the only mold that I found was on the back like when I took this part off um, It came off in one well it came off in two big pieces and on the back of the bottom piece There was mold on the back of there, but that's the only mold that I found other than just like the mildew kind of stuff on the plastic um, so we removed all of the plastic I removed the tile and the sub wall and then um, now I'm going to well I mean I'm not going to do it now but the next step for the shower is to take and put plastic up I don't think the insulation needs to be replaced it looks fine um, but I do need to put up more plastic to protect the insulation and then I'm going to be putting on some waterproof sub uh, wall it's not going to be drywall um, I'm going to have to see what Lowe's has what I can get from Lowe's um, what what brands they have and stuff like that so I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna get yet I have to go to Lowe's and find out but um, but that's the plan put more plastic on put the waterproof um, sub wall on and then retile it okay so we've gotten all this um, demoed um, and then we hung up some paint chips I think this is the color I'm really leaning towards, Spring Spirits, but I also really like this one and this one. Um, anyway, so those are the colors. Um, so now what we're going to do, we need to buy supplies to um, tile the shower and the floor. And also I, I need to sand down the vanity. Uh, so that it can be refinished but for now yeah we're going to try to take the tile off but I'm not really sure if it, we're going to be successful can so I now what we're going to do is we're going to practice our math skills right now Maddie and Tommy the two oldest Fitz kids are learning how to do square footage in how. math and so we're going to see if they know what if they if they know it well enough to put it into practice um, okay so we're gonna first calculate the square footage that we of the shower so we can figure out how much tile we need and then we're gonna do the floor
So we've just gotten home from Lowe's. The kids and I went out to Fairbanks today to get everything that we needed for the bathroom. Um, and I'm just going to show you everything we got and like break down the prices for you so you can see like how much we spent and what we're working with. So I started out with a budget of $1,000. Um, and I bought um, a bunch of tools. Like we had to have the trowels and everything like that for the mortar. And we had to have like screws and, and everything like that. So, um, so that's all separate costs but just for the tiles that we that we picked out for the shower um, and then the tiles for the floor okay let's see so I paid a hundred and forty eight dollars and twenty cents for the um, for the shower tiles for all the tile that I needed for the shower so what we did was we took the square foot of the, the square footage of the shower and then I I added 10% for any mistakes or like just if we had some break or if there was like a pattern that we needed an extra piece for or whatever. So, but then I, when I did that um, math and then I went to see how the tile was sold, I ended up just buying an extra box instead of just 10%. So we have six boxes of Sovereign Stone Pearl and it was two seventy five a piece for each tile, and I got sixty tiles. But they, but with our military discount, it came out to be two dollars and forty seven cents a piece, and we ended up paying one forty eight twenty for the charcoal. Um, I picked a slate color of ceramic tile, long twelve by twenty four inch pieces um, for the flooring, and it's a slate color. Well, it's technically charcoal but um, I got 24 of them at five dollars and forty cents a piece but with our military discount it was four dollars and eighty six cents a piece and so the flooring and we got let's see 20 24 of them at 486 a piece came out to be a hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty four cents I think I have way more flooring than I need but I'm okay with that um, so, um, so that's just for the tile. So, um, one sixteen sixty four for the floor and one forty eight twenty for the shower. So let me show you what I got additionally. So we, it, so behind the shower tile before it was drywall and that's why we had such, um, trouble with the shower because water had gotten in there and made all that drywall soft and so then when Tommy fell it really immediately dented the shower because all that drywall behind there was soft you're not supposed to tile over drywall if it's below the shower head so we I bought five pieces of three by five cement board um, so that I could put that up in the shower before I put the tile on um, so I got five pieces of that um, and then I got the necessary screws for the brand of um, cement board that I bought. Um, and then after you put the cement board up, you're supposed to mortar over the seams. I got the, the, the mesh, the roll of mesh that you're supposed to put on there. Um, and then after that dries, you're supposed to paint on this aqua defense stuff. So I got that. And then um, I got two bags of, I'm not really sure how to say this brand, but I think it's Mapai, M-A-P-E-I. Um, it's called Large Format Floor and Tile, Floor and Wall Tile Mortar. So I got two bags, two 50 pound bags of that. I got a bucket and I ended up getting a tile cutter. Now with this tile cutter, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I do know, oh, it comes with two cutting wheels. This was only 23, let's see. So it was 23.48, but I got it for 21.13 after our discount. So that's a pretty good price, I think. And I know that after we do this bathroom, we are going to remodel our downstairs bathroom too. 
So I'll definitely keep everything for that, but I'm thinking that I might, um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep all of my tiling, new tiling stuff, um, or if I'm just going to throw it all in the bucket and sell it to somebody for 20 or 30 bucks. Um, but I just want to go, you know, show you the few things that I got and quickly tell you how much I paid for them. So with each, with each size tile, you have to have a different size, um, trowel. So this one is a quarter inch trowel. This one's for the shower tile. And then this one is a three quarter inch um, trowel. This one's for the floor tile. This one's for all of it because you have to have something to smooth the, the mortar on there first and then go over it with the, the other trowel. And then this um, is the tile. The, once you get the tile up there, you use this to press it in. Um, so all of these trowels I paid between $15 and $16 for. Um, let's see. $14.38 for the quarter inch. $14.38 for the, the float. Um, $9.38 for the, the smoothing trowel. And then $15.28 for the big notch trowel. Um, so that's how much I paid for those. I also got these um, tile spacers. I got two bags, and I did not realize that they are different size spaces. So... Josh said that I could just use one size for the floor and one size for the tile, but I don't know. I'll probably just go back and get more. I also got this. This is what you mix the mortar with. You put it on your drill, and once you add the water to the mortar, you use your you use this tool to mix it all up. Um, that one was, let's see, $12.31. Then I got this folding scoring knife, this is what, so to, to cut the cement board, you don't use a saw, you just score it and then break it off. So I thought you could just use like a, an X-Acto knife, but I bought this just to be on the safe side. And this was $9.88. I got two packages of shims because when you put the cement board up, you're supposed to put shims underneath. And then when you do your tile, you're supposed to put shims under the bottom row of tile too. So let's see, those were hmm. I don't really know. Oh, let's see. Two dollars and eighty four cents a piece. And then of course I got all this this is for the drywall because I'm going to paint the bathroom first and I need to repair the damage to the walls before I do that. So I'm going to put this on there and then putty over it and smooth it. This is the seam tape for the cement board. I got three rolls and they were something like three, a little bit over three dollars a piece for those. And then I got a little thing of putty to do the repairing with. So, and then I paid for the bucket of course, and the lid. They don't just sell buckets with lids. You gotta buy the lid too. So let's see, the bucket was $3.58. The, the lid was $1.78. Um, I already told you how much the tile cutter was. The spacers were $6.28. For one bag and five dollars and eighty-three cents for the other bag. Um, let's see. The spackling was four dollars and thirty cents. Oh, the backer board seam tape. Yeah, three dollars and twenty-eight cents a piece, and I got three of those at two ninety-five with our discount, and it came out to be eight dollars and eighty-five cents. The repair mesh was $8.98 with our discount for the drywall. Um, the aqua defense, this stuff was kind of expensive. The aqua defense that you put on the cement board for waterproofing, um, for one gallon was 
regularly priced $54.48, but of course with our discount, I got it for $49.03. Um, and then this is the paint that I got. I don't know if you, you're not going to be able to see the color, but it's like a, like a gray green color. It's so pretty. It's called green peppercorn. And I paid $33.28 for that. Um, and then for the mortar bags, I got two of them at $22.48 with our discount. And it came out to be $44.96. And I already told you the price for the, the each set of tile. And then the cement board for five pieces at $10.15, it came out to $50.75. So our grand total for everything that I bought so far with keeping in mind my budget is $1,000. It came out to be $607.72. So that's a discount of $67.92. So I really appreciate Lowe's that they support um, military families by offering us a discount. It really does help. It goes a long way. Um, you know, with moving all the time and having to make repairs to our house and get it ready to go either on the market or you know, um, setting up a new home wherever we go. The fact that Lowe's offers us a military discount is really, really helpful. So I really appreciate that. Um, and then um, the other thing that I was going to say is, um, oh, that's our total so far, $607 and 72 cents. So I still have like $393 and some change left in our budget or $392 and some change left in our budget. But I don't plan on using all of that. Um, I think all I have left to buy is the mortar, or I mean the grout and the sealant for the tile. So it could, you know, we could run into some issues and I could have to spend a little bit more than that. But so far, I think all I'm gonna have to buy is the grout and the sealant. Um, and then I do want to buy some decorative things for the bathroom. So I'm looking at spending another one, 150. So that, that brings us in well below our budget, which is encouraging to me because if we do run into any problems, I do have a little bit of wiggle room. So first thing I'm going to do is get all of the small stuff relocated into the bathroom. I've been storing everything in the, in the um, t bathtub. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the cement board cut and installed in the shower and go ahead and get the mortar put up so that it can go ahead and get dry. So that way I can um, paint the aqua defense on tonight because my plan is to get the shower ready to tile and then spend my day tomorrow tiling. So for right now, I'm going to take all this small stuff in the house and go ahead and start taking the cement board through this garage door here up onto the deck, scoring it and installing it in the shower.